Hello everybody, let's do unit 1 real numbers lesson 2 which is about fractions and decimals and we also would learn how to compare them changing into decimals, fractions and vice versa. So fractions, let's do fractions. Fractions are made up of a numerator the top number and a denominator denominator the bottom number in uh, we have three different three or four different types of fractions the first one is in proper fraction proper fraction the numerator in proper fractions the numerator is smaller than the denominator I'm just gonna write the example over here with the proper fractions the numerator is smaller than the denominator so for example numerator is smaller so it's gonna be half for example you see that's the example for the proper fraction proper fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator so that's kind of example for that now let's go back and we have another one which is uh, improper fractions in improper fractions the numerator is larger than the denominator so I'm going to give you again the example for this the numerator is larger for example I have 8 over 3 so the numerator is larger than the denominator that's improper fraction okay then we have another one a mixed number a mixed number is made up of a whole number and a proper fraction proper fraction where the numerator is smaller it is another way of writing improper fractions fractions now if you guys pay attention it says mixed number means um, also writing another way or uh, improper fractions you know improper fraction when the numerator is larger than the denominator when I divide, I'm going to get a mixed number, like one whole number and another fraction. So, and I will show you a mixed number, something like that. For example, a mixed number. Let's, let me give you an example of mixed number. For example, I have four, that's a whole number, three seventh. You see this is a whole number 3 7 smaller numerator is smaller than the denominator is a proper fraction so that's why it's called a mixed number is made up of a whole number which is that 4 and a proper fraction which is 3 7 so this is called mixed number and we can get this from improper fraction when I divide 8 by 3 I will get something like that this is not what uh, 8 over 3 means okay it's not I'm just giving you an example for it okay a fraction is let's go back here a fraction is in simplest form in simplest form when the numerator and denominators are relatively prime relatively prime which means uh, they have no factors that they can share they don't have any common factors or no factor they share other than just one okay right there now equivalent fractions equivalent fractions have different numbers but the same value so i'm going to go up have different numbers but the same value multiply or divide just remember this equivalent fraction either you're going to multiply or divide both top and bottom of the fraction by the same number and you will get equivalent fractions for example i have this half right now i'm going to consider this half as the main one 
and the equivalent fraction of half is two fourth because if I divide this by two, I divide the bottom by two, I will get half. So it's equivalent fraction. The same thing goes here. If I divide this by three, I divide this by three, I'm gonna get half. I divide this by four, I divide that by four, I'm gonna get half. So in this case, they are showing me all the division, but you also can use a multiplication. Like I can multiply two with the uh, one and two, it's gonna give me two fourth, again, equivalent. I can multiply with three, three times one is three, three times two is six, it's gonna give me this. So either way you multiply or divide, you will get the equivalent fractions. Now the same thing goes here, like I have five tenth. I have six twelve. When you simplify, it's gonna to go to half. I have seven and 14 and eight and 16. These are all equivalent fractions. You can multiply each one of them, like, all of them by some other numbers like by two three four but it has to be top and bottom to compare fractions with the same denominator now these are the three steps that I have here and I am using these steps if for example the test is timed or in any case the test is timed for you I mean your teacher is making a time test then this is really easy way without using a calculator to do these three steps and know which one which fraction is larger which one is smaller okay to compare fractions with the same denominator compare if the denominators are the same okay pay attention denominators are the same if denominator are the same compare their numerators compare the numerators the larger numerator is larger number or larger fraction okay so if I I'm gonna highlight this so you would know so if I'm high same denominator it means you compare the numerators and larger numerator is larger fraction okay let's do that one to compare fraction with the same numerators, same numerators, again highlight this, same numerators. Then compare the denominators, compare the denominators. The smaller denominator Is larger number okay now let's go back here to compare fraction without common numerators or denominator like if the numerator denominators are not even the same then you make equivalent fractions with common denominator with common denominator to compare so if the numerator and denominators are not the same then you have to make uh, uh, equivalent fraction like one of them make it equivalent fraction and you can multiply or divide top and bottom with some other numbers to make it equivalent to the other fraction like their denominator make them equivalent and you can easily use these two steps up there on the top and you can answer the question. For example, here, let's try this. Uh, I'm gonna use a different color probably. Compare using less, greater, or equal signs. So four fifth and four eighths. Do you see the numerators are exactly the same? Numerators are exactly the same. If numerators are the same, then it goes the same numerator, for example, with this one. You see, this is a step that we're going to follow. Compare the denominators. I'm comparing the denominators. The smaller denominator is larger number. Smaller denominator, larger number, which means this inequality sign, which means the alligator mouth towards four fifth. Alligator mouth means this means it's a big, and this means that's a small. Okay. So if the corner is towards four eighth, it means that's a small number. The alligator mouth is towards four-fifth, which means four-fifth is a big. 
Okay, let's compare this. 3 fourth and 1 fourth. Do you see the denominators are exactly the same? So in this case, we have this step to follow. Okay, uh, it doesn't. There you go. So again, same denominators. Compare the numerator, the larger numerator is larger. So larger numerator means the 3 is larger than 1, then this 3 fourth is bigger. So alligator mark towards 3 fourth. 2, 9, 5, 18, and if you pay attention, they are uh, don't have any common numerator and denominator. So this number is kind of small, and I can multiply this top and bottom with 2. And I can make it equivalent fraction to 18. You know, the whole purpose of this thing, you have to make sure the denominator, you make it common, okay? Not the numerator, denominator. So if I multiply this 2, multiply this 2. So it's going to give me 2 times 2 is 4. 9 times 2 is 18. And I already have 5, 18. So the same denominator means I'm comparing the numerators. The larger numerator means that's a larger number. So 5 is bigger. So I'm going to move the alligator mouth towards 518. Well, let's try this one. Again, they are not, uh, there is no common numerator and denominators. So I'm going to make equivalent fraction. And I always pick a smaller fraction so I can divide and multiply. I usually multiply because multiplication is kind of easy. So how do I make this 3 12? You multiply this by 4. And you have to do the same thing on the top too. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And I got 4, 12 already. So they are equal. Okay, that's how you do it. Let's go to comparing fractions in decimals. Turn fraction into a decimal. To turn fraction into a decimal, divide the numerator, the top number, which means the numerator by the denominator, by the denominator. Now, this is 1 and 2, half, 1 over 2. So I'm dividing 1 by 2. 1 divided by 2 and I'm getting 0 0.5. You can use a calculator and do that. To turn a decimal into a fraction, decimal into a fraction. And um, you know, there is like a, it's a really good definition there for it. Like you can use the place value of the decimal, 10th, 100th, 1000th, etc. to make a fraction. Then simplify that fraction. But I'm going to show you just simple, like something really easy and you will understand it. For example, I'm changing 0 0.5 this 0 0.5, I'm picking that number, 0 0.5 into a fraction. So you draw a line because I'm changing this into a fraction. You see this decimal that disappear with one and I have only one digit on the right side. So I'm going to put one zero. And this side I have a zero anyway. So I'm going to just do five over 10. You simplify this. You divide this by 2, divide this by 2, it's going to give, and not divide, I'm sorry, divide by 5 on top, divide 5 on the bottom, it's going to give me 1 over 2. So that's, you can simplify it further. You can leave it 5 tenth, it's okay, but most of the time the teacher wants to simplify. Okay, let's try, look at this as 0 0.75. So now I have 0 0.75, draw a line, this decimal disappear with 1, so this is gone. I have 75, two numbers after the decimal, so I'm going to put two zeros. And this side is just a zero, so it doesn't count on that side. So 75 over 100, you simplify this, you will get 3 fourths. Okay. Now, to compare fractions in decimal. If I need to compare fractions in decimal, I would always, always change fraction into decimals. Fractions into decimals. And then I will compare. And I can use a calculator on it. It's an easy way to do it. Um, so let's try and, and compare the decimal using place values. And I'm going to show you that how to do it. Let's try this. 5 eighths and 0 0.58. I have to change this 5 8 into a decimal. And then I will see what I'm getting. So let's go back to the calculator and see 5 divided by 8. Okay, I got, turn it on, 5 divided by 8, it's going to give me 0 0.625. 
so i'm gonna go back to my worksheet and it's it is for example where is it it's okay it's 0 0.625 now how do i compare them now the way i do step by step pay attention guys here compare I, I always start with the left side okay start with the left then zero zero it's the same dot dot and then we have six and that's five so i don't have to check the rest of them i on the first one i stopped six is bigger than five right so six is bigger so it means this is gonna go like that now let's change this to two nine alligator mouth is towards that okay let's change this two ninth into a decimal so i'm gonna go back to my calculator and let's try clear that you do two divide by nine it's gonna give me 0 0.222 and two is repeating okay so it's gonna give me something over here which is 0 0.222 and i'm just gonna put repeating now let's try okay let's go back compare zero zero decimal decimal two two and you know at the end you have a zero there when you don't have any number on the right side it's automatically zero so that's zero and the next number that i have it's two which means this number is bigger alligator mouth towards two ninth let's try seven ninth i have to change seven ninth into a um, fraction so if i change this let's try okay and um, you can round it up like 0 0.222 like just make it 0 0.22 let's try 7 and 9th let's go back to the calculator again it's uh, 7 divide by 9 and it's going to give me 0 0.7777 7 is repeating go back so 7 is repeating so I'm going to write 0 0.777 and it repeats. Now let's compare 0, 0, decimal, decimal, 7, 7, 5, and 7, which means this is bigger. So alligator mouth towards this. Now what is 3 fifth? I'm going to go back to the calculator again and 3 fifth. 3 divided by 5 is going to give me 0 0.6. Okay, so... 0 0.6 again this is 0 0.6 and you know they are equal so i used a calculator and we know how to do that and we got the answers okay on this side you guys can do all of this on your own using a calculator and see how it works now let's do practice write as an improper fraction improper fraction means what was improper fraction if you guys remember what is improper fraction improper fraction was when the numerator is larger than the denominator okay and how do we change this into improper always do this okay when you have a mixed number seven times four times seven times four is 28 so i got 28 plus 3 28 29 30 31 so i got 31 what about the denominator this one is going to stay and it's an improper fraction because my numerator is bigger let's try this one they said write as uh, uh let me try this one first again negative two times nine i mean you can leave this negative as it is and let's do and change the mixed number into improper so nine times two is 18 nine times two is 18 plus four is going to give me 22 and i'm going to keep that negative 22 over 9 9 is the com denominator which is going to stay right as a mixed number what was a mixed number mixed number definition was you have a whole number and uh, you have a proper fraction okay so 24 divided by 5 how do i get this i'm going to divide this so if i divide 24 by 5 i'm going to getting 5 times 4 is 20 and this is 4 so i have Four as a whole number and we have a proper fraction the numerator is smaller let's try this 14 and 3 I got 14 inside the house because numerator always goes inside the house 
So um, 3 times 4 is going to give me 12 and 2. So that 4 is a whole number and 2 over 3. This is going to go as a denominator, okay? So you got 2 over 3. Again, this is a proper fraction because my numerator is smaller. Write an equivalent fraction. Again, equivalent fraction, if you guys remember, either we multiply or divide, okay? So it's up to you. I'm, I can multiply here 2. I can multiply here 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. Done. I also can multiply here 3. Mm, this multiply by 3, multiply by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 4 is 12. And these are all my equivalent fractions. You can keep going. Again, the same thing, 4 fifth. I can multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10. Again, multiply this by 3, by 3. 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, and so on. Write in a simplest form. Simplest form, you can simplify this, like find a number that you can divide 18 and 24 by the same number. It has to be the same always in fractions, top and bottom number. So I can divide this um, by 6, right? And I can divide this by 6. 18 divided by 6 is going to give me 3. 24 divided by 6 is going to give me 4. And I can simplify this. This is a proper fraction. Try this. 39 over 72. So let's try. 39 is something that I can only use a 3 on it. So I'm going to divide 39 by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So it's 13. The top is 13. And I can also divide 72 by 3. It's going to give me 3 times 2 is 6 and 4. 13 or 24. Oh, you can use calculator, guys. Write this as a decimal. And you can use a calculator, and I already showed you how to do it. When we change this, it's going to repeat. 7 12th, my answer is 0 0.5833 repeats. Write as a simplified fraction. Again, I draw a line. Decimal goes with 1, disappear. Two, uh, I have a 0 here, so we don't count 0. 4, 8 means two decimal, uh, two zeros. So I got 48 over 100. When you simplify this, it's going to give me 12 over 25. This one, the same thing. The decimal goes with 1. I have three numbers on the right side, and I have three zeros in the bottom. So technically, these, this side of the zeros, they don't count. So I have like 5 over 1,000. When you simplify this, it's going to give me 1 over 200. Okay, let's compare. 4, 7, and 5, 9. If you guys pay attention, none of the numerator and denominators are common there. So we have to make equivalent fractions. So how do I make equivalent fraction of this? Or you can change them into a decimal. Easy way. Change them into a decimal, both of them. When we change into decimal, you know this is bigger. Let's try this. Change this to decimal. 3 tenth. It's going to give me 0 0.3. So it's equal. 1 sixth and 1 fifth. Now... Again, the numerator are exactly the same. If numerator are the same, so the smaller denominator, compared denominators, the smaller denominator is a larger number. So alligator mod towards fifth, one fifth. Seven, eight, three, fourth. Again, none of them have a common denominator. I can multiply this by two to make it eight, right? Like that one. And you have to do two over there. So I got 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 2 is 8, and this is 7 eighth. The denominators are exactly the same, which means the larger the numerator, it's going to be the larger number. So 7 is bigger. I put 7, uh, the inequality sign to alligator mode towards 7 eighth. 7 9, 0.79. Change this to decimal. When I change this to decimal, it's giving me 0 0.777. And you can tell. Compare 0, 0, decimal, decimal, 7, 7. I have 7 and I have 9. So this is bigger. Again, change this to decimal. When you do this, it's 0 0.5. And it's going to give me equal. Numerators are exactly, uh, denominators are the same. So the larger compared uh, numerators, when your denominators are the same, compare numerators, the larger numerator means the larger number. So 6 is bigger. I made it. 
inequality sign like that change this into fractional decimals it's going to give me 0 0.5384 something something so i stop there because i have only two numbers there so i'm going to compare 0 0 decimal decimal 5 5 3 and this is 5 so that's bigger so that's how we're going to compare using the calculators and everything um see you guys in the next lesson bye